Wikipedia is a crowdsourced encyclopedia. This means that, one, it's an encyclopedia much like Encyclopedia Britannica, which it actually put out of business, but with one major twist. Wikipedia is crowdsourced. That means anyone who wants to contribute can. Consider this. Traditionally, encyclopedias like the ones you may have at home or find at the library were written exclusively by academics who were considered experts. Wikipedia, however, does the opposite. The online platform is designed so that whoever wants to contribute is welcome. This is crowdsourcing, the practice of inviting a large group of people to give input to a project or goal. It's similar to crowdfunding, where perhaps if you are making a film, you could announce that you'll accept donations from anyone interested in supporting the project, regardless of whether or not they actually know anything about film. You may have seen projects like these while perusing your social media or even donated to a few. But the fact that anyone can edit Wikipedia doesn't mean there aren't guidelines, standards, or layers of quality control. In fact, Wikipedia has volunteers around the world who diligently monitor the platform to ensure that entries are well sourced and free of errors. That's a lot of responsibility since the website gets way over 374 million unique searches a month. If you'd like to help out, you're more than welcome. There are no hard and fast rules on Wikipedia, but there are guidelines written by the community of editors. These are always being revised, but familiarizing yourself with them will increase your chances of being a successful editor. The first core content policy is that you should write all articles with a neutral point of view. This means that you should avoid stating opinions, yours or others, and you should try to use neutral language. Stating facts as plainly as possible is a good way to minimize the risk of sounding biased. For example, instead of describing a city as modern or developing, you could include verifiable statistics about the population, types of commerce, and architecture there, etc. The second core content policy is verifiability. All content needs to be attributed to a reliable, published source. Citing reputable source material is key to ensuring your articles don't get challenged or deleted. Simply adding citations to existing articles is a great way to contribute and much needed. The third core content policy is no original research. Cite reliable published sources that are directly related to the topic of the article and clearly support the material being presented. This proves that you're not just adding your own anecdotal research. In other words, a survey or poll you conducted is not admissible. Source material must have been published. That means made available to the public. Academic publications, books published by respected publishing houses, magazines, journals, and mainstream newspapers are usually seen as the most reliable sources. Try to make sure your subject is notable as well. This can be tricky because for the purposes of establishing notability, sources may encompass published works in all forms in media. That includes blogs and even viral videos. Sources do not have to be made available online, and they don't need to be in English. Multiple publications from the same author or an organization count as the same source, by the way. Your sources also need to be independent of the subject. For example, advertising press releases, autobiographies, and personal websites aren't really allowed. Still, the prominence of blogging and social media continue to change our ideas about what is notable and what isn't. And Wikipedia thrives on your input, so give it a try, even if you're not sure. Finally, contributing to Wikipedia to promote yourself, your family, your friends, or employer is a big no-no. This represents a conflict of interest and undermines the objectivity and overall validity of the article. For example, don't write a page-long article about how your uncle's bakery is a local landmark. 
Also, in the entry for rum cake, you shouldn't try to add an entry that claims your uncle's bakery sells the best rum cake in the world. If you feel, however, that enough reputable sources have made this claim, you could suggest a change at the top of the page. See you in the next tutorial! Welcome to AfroCrowd. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the basic format of a Wikipedia page. Look at the tabs at the top of your screen. On the right, you have Read, Edit or View Source, and View History. The Read page is where articles are displayed. Most of us are familiar with this page. This is where you land when you're casually researching facts about your favorite performing artist, history, or science trivia. At the top left, you have Talk. The Talk page lets other users comment or make suggestions. Remember, Wikipedia is a community, and all your activity is visible to the public, and it can be traced back to your user account. When you're ready to edit your article, open to the Visual Editor and you can use the toolbar at the top of the page to format it the way you want. Use the drop-down menu to create headers, subheaders, and paragraphs. Make your text bold or italicized, or add bulleted or numbered lists. You can also insert media tables, galleries of images, graphs, and more. You can also add links to other Wikipedia pages or external pages on the web. To add citations, use the automatic citation creator, or the manual option. The question mark at the top right opens a user guide that gives you more information about this tool. You can make most of the edits you want using the visual editor, but if you're familiar with markup language and want to edit the page that way, click Edit Source at the top right of your screen. Wikitext markup language is similar to HTML or XML, but again, most of the edits you want to make are possible using the visual editor. See you in the next tutorial! Wikipedia is available in 299 languages. That includes many languages from African countries and the African diaspora, such as Igbo, Yoruba, Haitian Creole, English, Spanish, and French. Each of these language Wikipedias has its own rules, and some have considerably few entries than, say, English or Spanish. While the English version alone currently boasts over 5 million articles, Haitian Creole, for example, has 51,000, and Yoruba has only 31,000. There are also initiatives currently working to expand and to preserve collections on languages which are disappearing. Garifuna, a language spoken by descendants of West African, Central African, Island Carib, European, and Arawak peoples in the Americas, has been recognized as a historical world treasure by UNESCO. Endangered languages like these are in incubator mode on Wikipedia. That means they're waiting for the community to write about them. Do you speak any of these languages? You can click the link below to find out how you can contribute. To access Wikipedia in your preferred language, start at the homepage. That's www.wikipedia.org. There, you'll find links to some options such as English, Spanish, French, and Chinese prominently displayed. If you don't immediately see the language option you're looking for, scroll further down and you'll see every language option listed by the number of articles. Typically, the name for a site is the official two-letter language code, followed by .wikipedia.org. For example, English would be en.wikipedia.org, Spanish, es.wikipedia.org, Yoruba, yo.wikipedia.org, Haitian Creole, ht.wikipedia.org, French, fr.wikipedia.org, and so on and so forth. See you in the next tutorial. Increasingly, there are many in the Wikipedia community who think the current standards of notability don't allow for Wikipedia to reflect the sum of all knowledge as it hopes to do. For example, a majority of academic sources recognized by Wikipedia are based in the Anglophone world, or countries where English is the dominant language. Also, the current rules of notability are closely linked with coverage in prominent Western newspapers. 
That means a serial killer written about by the New York Times is more likely to end up on Wikipedia than someone who has made great cultural contributions in another part of the world, but hasn't necessarily been written about in these papers. Another challenge facing Wikipedia is the task of documenting information from cultures where knowledge is kept orally. In many West African countries, like Ghana or Senegal, for example, history, folklore, and other significant cultural knowledge is passed down through the mediums of traditional dance, drumming, and storytelling. In some instances, the expert in a significant subject may not know how to read or write. That's why Wikipedia has announced that it hopes to reach a strategic goal of knowledge equity by 2030, and that includes oral knowledge. At AfroCrowd, we've begun an oral knowledge project featuring recordathons, where people are invited to contribute knowledge in their native languages. The movement still needs help to develop standards for citing oral knowledge on Wikipedia, so you can't try this at home just yet. But stay tuned. Adding citations is one of the simplest ways that you can contribute to Wikipedia, and highly recommended if you're just getting started. Working to make sure that articles are well cited ensures that they don't get deleted, and also offers further avenues of research for other Wikipedia users visiting that article. Before you add citations, the first thing you need to do is create a list of references. If one doesn't already exist on the article you're working on, this will be where your footnotes appear. To do this, you're going to select Reference List from the drop-down menu entitled Insert. Once you have your reference list, you'll need to add a citation. To do that, select the Cite button. Here, you have two options. With the automatic option, you can enter the URL or the ISBN, and a citation will be generated for you. You can also select the templates and fill out the form to enter all the citation information manually. In the description for this video, you'll find some more information on adding citations and how to properly cite articles on Wikipedia. See you in the next tutorial! Welcome to AfroCrowd. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create and publish a new Wikipedia article. But before we begin, here are a few things you should know. First, you should probably create a Wikipedia user account. It's possible to make edits to Wikipedia without one, but just remember that without a personal account, all your edits will be traceable to your IP address and available to the public. Before you're able to publish a new article, your account must be at least four days old and you must have made more than 10 edits. Organizations like AfroCrowd hold free events all year long that can help you learn the ropes and meet other users who share your interests. It's a perfect way to get in your 10 edits and also possibly make some new friends while you're at it. Click the link below to find out how you can get connected. Now, we're about to go over the most direct way to create an article on Wikipedia. Only use this method if you're confident that your topic is notable. An easy way to do this is to run a quick Google search on your subject. Have they been written about in any newspapers, books, academic publications? If you can find two or three of these, you're good to go. You can also use your sandbox and the article wizard to create your article. However, these methods are less direct and the review process can take weeks if not months. Your article may just end up in review queues for untold amounts of time. At AfroCrowd, we recommend that you avoid these indirect methods when creating articles. Now, here are some quick easy steps to help you create and publish your own Wikipedia article. First, enter the title of the article that you want to create in the search box. Make sure to write it using the correct spelling and capitalization because this is going to be the article's title. After hitting search, results will appear. If the article doesn't already exist, click on You May Create the Page. The article creation box will appear and you can preview and then publish your article, however short, after having added at least one very solid citation. Make sure what you've entered establishes the notability of your topic. Now for editing your article. At the top right of your screen, you'll see the Read, Edit, Edit Source, and View History tabs. At the top left, you'll notice the Article and Talk tabs. The Edit tab, or Visual Editor, is what allows you to edit articles. If you've ever written an email, using the Edit tab should be easy. 
In the Edit tab, you can create headers, subheaders, and paragraphs. You can format your text to be bold or italicized. You can hyperlink text to other Wikipedia pages or to external pages on the web. You can add citations. See our Adding Citations video for more details on how to do that. You can add bulleted or numbered lists. You can add media files, images, tabled and other non-text visual aids. And the question mark on the top right offers you help while you're in the edit box, including a visual editor user guide. The Edit Source tab shows you the wiki text markup which makes up the article. Certain features, such as adding images, are better edited in this tab. But if you're not yet comfortable with this option, Edit tab is your go-to editing tool. The View History tab outlines every single edit ever made on the article. And the Talk page is where the public comments on the contents of the page and raises concerns. Or congratulations! See you in the next tutorial! Welcome to AfroCrowd. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to upload images to Wikipedia. But first, there are some things you should bear in mind. Wikipedia is a free encyclopedia. That means it doesn't cost money to access. It also means that people are free to reuse its content in their own works, even commercial ones, as long as they credit the author. Before images can be added to Wikipedia, they must be uploaded to Wikimedia Commons. Wikimedia Commons is an online library of free images and media that can be reused or modified anywhere, even commercially. Wikimedia Commons only accepts images which have not been licensed or copyrighted and can be used by any other Wikimedia projects, including Wikipedia. Free images for upload to Wikimedia Commons must allow commercial use and modified versions. To upload images to Wikimedia Commons, you'll need to use the Upload Wizard. Remember, the wizard will only accept images that fit the criteria we've just established. To find images like these, you can go to places like the Creative Commons search beta. This enables the right settings for commercial reuse and modifications. Images listed here are made available under what's called the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike License. You can click the link below to find out more about this license if you want. You can also search the U.S. federal government website, or even Google Images. Just make sure these images are actually labeled for reuse. You can also upload images, as long as you can prove that they're under a free license. If you're uploading an image that belongs to you, such as a photograph you took, just remember that, as we mentioned before, you'll have to agree for it to be reused commercially and modified before Wikimedia Commons will accept your upload. Once you've successfully uploaded your image to Wiki Commons, a dialog box will appear displaying two coded links. To use your image in an article, copy and insert the code provided by Commons into the Wikipedia article. To do this, go to the article you wish to edit, switch to the source editor, and paste the code into the field. See you in the next tutorial!